Hi guys, it's John here and today I'm just going to have a look at foliage and an issue that you might encounter where um, you're, you've got your foliage and it's looking awesome. In this case I'm using the May Oak Forest from the Unreal Marketplace and you might notice that when you move the camera away as you start to get further away the foliage starts to disappear now there's a whole bunch of reasons why this could happen and today I'm just going to have a look at some of the reasons that I know of and how we can address them so in this particular case there's a couple of things happening and one of them is to do with the um, opacity mask for the leaves on the trees so if I just pull this down we can have a look and see what's going on so the mask is actually on the alpha channel um, so the black areas are obviously the parts that are transparent and the other areas are the parts that you can see now what's happening is because it's using MIP maps in this case it's a it's got a total of 13 MIP maps and this is because of the size of the texture um, so you've got your first MIP is obviously 4096 and then it halves the resolution, it goes down to 2048 and so on and so on and it do that 13 times which is why you get 13 levels of MIP um, so as the camera moves away from the um, object um, the different MIP levels will kick in so um, it decreases the resolution each time and what happens is when it gets to the uh, lower MIP levels uh, which you can actually visualize at the top here by selecting them it does um, sort of shrink them down so it's a bit hard to see but you can see uh, this is the which one's that it's the tenth MIP it starts to get a little bit blurry and um, and then if you go even further down you notice the uh, 11th MIP level is just completely black so what's happening is when it gets to that level um, everything just becomes masked out in the texture and that's why your leaves are disappearing so let's just disable that again for a sec so one way that you can address that is just disabling your MIP maps um, obviously you might not want to do that if you're um, looking for optimizing for performance um, but let's just have a look and see what it does so if we come over to MIP gen settings and then just select no MIP maps and straight away you can see that everything just appears like full as like you'd expect it to and it looks great so but I'm just gonna switch that back um, there is another way that you can um, sort of work around that and still keep your MIP maps in place so to do that you need to go into the materials for your leaves so um, just going to for this forest I've got uh, six different ones open so if we go into this first one if you come down to material property overrides you've got a setting here opacity mask clip value and I think what this does is it it's like it kind of adjusts the contrast of the mask sort of thing and if you change the value to say 0.2 and then we're going to need to do that for all of them and 
last one. And now you can see that it's fixed the translucency or the mask issue. Um, um, you might find on certain foliage that doing that uh, gives you bad results when you're looking at the foliage close up. So you have to decide for yourself um, what the best option, that, what the best approach is that you want to take. Um, but for now we'll just leave that at that. So the other issue uh, which you may have noticed a second ago is that uh, things are getting cold out and and that's just the setting inside of the foliage editor that you can change so if we come over just minimize that for a sec we just open up the foliage editor and if we come over to the select tool I'm just going to select the first uh, one and then I'll select the last one by uh, holding shift and click. And then what we want to look for is the under the instance settings, you've got this cull distance and it says multiple values. So each of those uh, trees has got a different value. Um, for its maximum uh, distance value um, but if you want to disable it completely you can just enter in zero and if you move back and forth um, it's basically it's removed that like that hard sort of culling in the distance we're still getting some issues with the MIP maps I don't think you can completely get away with that if you're um, if you're still using MIP uh, maps but um, for optimization maybe like that's okay because um, you know you might find that you're you're never going to be up in the sky like this anyway so you know that might be that might be good enough for what you want if you're working on a game but if you're doing say cinematics then i would suggest just disabling the mip maps completely on any mask texture you have for your leaves in your level so hopefully that um helps um there's a a couple of other reasons as well that your foliage might be disappearing so if I come back out of here and I'll tell you what I'm just going to come in and disable the MIP maps completely because uh, that's it's uh, it's going to be easier to show you what I'm talking about so one of the things is uh, if you're using Nanite there is uh, an act there's actually a cap on the amount of Nanite that you can have in your scene so basically like uh, on screen at a time there is a, a cap on the amount of Nanite so um, you might be close up to your trees or say you've got crops in a field and they look fine but as the camera starts to pull away um, it's trying to render more and more nanite triangles and if that cap is too low for your current uh, projects then what's going to happen is it will start to cull out some of that nanite we can have a look and see where the cap is actually set at uh, by entering this console command r dot nanite dot max nodes and I'm just gonna copy that to the clipboard and then I'm gonna enter in question mark and 
And if we go into the output log, this is the uh, maximum amount that we've what we've uh, got it set to, so 2097152. So if we were to change that value to, let's say, uh, I'm going to take a guess at this and just say, 20,000 uh, you can see what starts to happen like as you get close it's fine it's a little bit flickery but um, it's fine but as you move out then everything starts to get glitchy and starts to disappear and that's what you'll notice if your cap isn't set um, high enough for the amount of nanite that you've got in your project right, up at the top we're now getting this um, warning saying um, the basically the high water mark is 423207 and that's what it needs to be able to render the scene correctly so if we were to come back and Oh, it's gone now. Um, let's just say like that you don't know what that number is, okay? Let's just say you don't know what that number is. You can get that by t typing stat RHI and then that will show you. Um, so, oh, it's a bit annoying that it disappears when you enter in the console. I've got to try and remember that number, so if we were to do it to so R I can paste that R up no, no, I, if we would enter in this value as our new cap then that fixes the issue and the the yellow warning has just disappeared you can get rid of that stat RHI as well um, just by entering it in again so that's another reason why you might be having issues with your foliage disappearing uh, another one is uh, especially if you using if you're using assets from say Unreal Engine 4 that have created an Unreal Engine 4 before Nanite uh, you might have um, LODs, different levels of LODs on top of your Nanite and that can also sort of cause issues um, so depending on you know how much you want to optimize your game or cinematics or whatever um, you might uh, you might be better off uh, just removing the LODs um, which I often do because uh, I don't like things popping in and out of my renders so uh, to do that it would come back and I need to find the meshes for my trees so let's just open one of these so you'd go into the mesh for your trees and where you've got LOD settings you've got uh, down here it tells you how many LODs you've got currently set up uh, this project hasn't actually got any um, you know, it just says number of, of LODs one but I think that just means that, um, it, that uh, you've only got that one level of detail which is your initial static mesh um, but anything above that then uh, you're starting to get lower resolution meshes that appear so uh, to so to get rid of any additional LODs you can just change that to one and uh, final thing that I just want to mention is under the nanite settings uh, where you've got preserve area uh, you want to have that ticked 
because that can also sort of start to shrink uh, your meshes down as they sort of get further away and that can also cause issues with sort of visibility and things start to look smaller or disappear or your shadows start to um start to show up more can things can start turning black and you, know, you start getting weird artifacts so you want to have preserve details ticked uh sorry preserve area ticked um so that's it i think uh if anyone has got any other reasons why it could be happening then feel free to drop a comment in on the video um if you if you found this useful then please click the like button uh show some support for the channel um you can also do that by subscribing and keeping in touch um so i'll be putting out a lot more videos along the way as I encounter my own issues um, uh, I've solved and that I'd like to share with you and also uh, yeah have a nice day this is John from Orogenic and it's easy when you know how